So we've all been waiting patiently for the 24th where Brian Koberger tells us the alibi and we've all been wanting to know what Brian Koberger's alibi would be seeing as he lived on his own, apparently according to the people that we've heard from, um, that he didn't have many friends and his family we know lived in Pennsylvania. So who was he going to say he was with? Because if he says he was at home that night on his own, it doesn't look good, does it? Especially with the evidence they've got against him. So first of all, I'd like to start off by thanking Sleuthing the Truth because she was the one that got this information up for us and it's on her page. She's also on YouTube, so check her out. I'll put the link in the description. So some new paperwork was filed with the court and it says that Brian Koberger, by and through his attorney of record, Anne C. Taylor, public defender and hereby files notice in response to the demand for an alibi in compliance with Idaho code and then it gives you the code and Idaho criminal rule 12.1. Mr Koberger notes that Idaho code and then it reads the code preserves his constitutional right to silence as well as to testify on his own behalf. Mr Koberger stands firm on his constitutional right as well as his statutory recognition of that right. Noteworthy is that the alibi indicates a line of proof by which the defendant attempts to show that he could not have committed the crime of which he, he is accused because he was elsewhere at the time. A defendant's denial of the charges against him does not constitute an alibi, but as soon as he offers evidence that he was at some place other than where the crime of which he is charged was committed, he is raising the alibi defence. Mr Koberger's defence team continues investigating and preparing his case evidence, corroborating Mr Koberger being at a location other than the King Road address will be disclosed pursuant to discovery and evidentiary rules as well as statutory requirements. It is anticipated this evidence may be offered by way of cross-examination of witnesses produced by the state as well as calling expert witnesses. So the saying that he was elsewhere but where he's not saying he is preserving his constitutional rights to silence as well as testify on his own behalf and at the minute it doesn't look like he wants to release that alibi. What do you think about this guys? Let me know in the comment section. I'd be really interested to know what you think. It seems like um, a lot of people think he's guilty and there's a lot of people that think he's innocent and that's fine. We all have our own opinions and everybody's entitled to those opinions. And I'm happy to see all those opinions in my chat. It's just interesting that they're not going to release that alibi. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye guys.